Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you? It's Marisa. Um, before I get started today, I just wanted to say two things. Um, as per yesterday's video about me like exposing some of my fears, well, in particular one fear of mine, um, I just want to say how much I appreciate so many of you reaching out to me, uh, leaving a comment, um, actually exposing some of your own fear about the same thing that I was going through and giving me your support. Um, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys had me in tears yesterday in a good way. Um, so I deeply appreciate really your support and your friendship and I have to say that I have a wonderful um, community. Thank you so much. I really do. I really have a great group of people around me. So I am so grateful for that. And secondly, I just want to welcome any new subscribers out there. Thank you so much for joining me, joining the community. And I am so happy that you are here today. So the last time I was here doing a painting, I haven't moved them since. Um, like, you know, I was busy over the weekend. Today is Monday. And hopefully I can get this um, video out today because my son is homesick. And I have some errands to do, so I want to at least start this video now. Um, so I battled off uh, Pouring Masters, uh, the acrylic pouring paint. Okay, came in a kit versus the Montmart um pouring paint they have their own pouring paint okay acrylic uh paint for pouring da, da, da. anyway so they both dried pretty well i have to say i am not mad at any one of these you know i think they're both really pretty in their own right uh, montmart is beautiful um i just uh, my own i just i like the way this came out once i kind of tipped it more um yeah, they both dry pretty well, I have to say. But honestly, I actually love this. I love the way the paint, the Pouring Masters held that line. And I just kind of love that shape. And I really love their colors. Now, the Montmartre, it's beautiful. And they, you know, it's a high quality paint, I think. Um, you know, neither one of them are that expensive. Like I said, with the Pouring Masters, you get a lot more for your money. But the Montmartre is really beautiful as well. It just doesn't hold the line um, as well to me, you know, but I think it's still pretty. But just, you know, for sake of choosing a winner, in my opinion, I, you know, I tend to lean towards more of the Pouring Masters more. Um, and forget about price and all that. Let's leave that out, out of it. Um, I just tend to like this more. But the colors here are just gorgeous in the uh, Montmartre. So this is a difficult one for me to choose. But I'm, you know, for today, I'm going to choose that Pouring Masters is the winner, in my opinion. So let me know how you feel about it. Um, you may not like the Pouring Masters. You may, you know... And that's cool. So leave me your opinion in the comments below. Okay. So let me move you over here. And I'm going to show you what we are doing today. Okay. Do, 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 do. So let me straighten this camera out for a minute. All right. Let's get that better. Okay. That's a little better. Let me back that up. All right. Cool. I think that's pretty good. So, I have two 8x10 canvases here, okay? Let me go a little bit bigger today, 8x10, alright? And today, I still had some of the artist sloth left. I've been, like, kind of saving it because it is so hard to get. So today, we are battling the Pouring Masters, again, now versus artist loft of the pre-mixed paint. Okay, and what I did was I tried to pick similar colors and, you know, and that way um, I think we can compare them a little better. 
um, the kit I have with the Pouring Masters, they didn't have the exact colors as the Artist Loft. So over here with the Pouring Masters, we have Grass Green, Midnight Blue, the Citrus Orange, and Lemon Yellow. Okay, that's the Pouring Masters. And over here, um, I tried to pick as similar as I could, but I had left. We have the Aqua Green, we have Turquoise, we have the, um, I think it's just Orange, and we have Bright Yellow. Okay, so that is what we are going to be battling today. Artists Loft versus the Pouring Masters. And I think these can be a little more similar than the other ones. Um, as far as finish, the Artist Loft does uh, usually uh, dry very glossy. Very, very glossy. I usually never see bubbles in it. Uh, I never seen a crack in an artist loft painting that I have made where it left cracks or bubbles or anything. Uh, Pouring Masters, um, off the top of my head since I just started using it like literally last week, um, I have seen bubbles. Um, I did have to use my torch a lot, and even when I poured the paint in these cups here, there were bubbles, like, it, just in the action of me pouring in the paint. So, that's the differences so far. This does dry um, glossy as well, the Pouring Masters, but not as glossy as Artist Loft. So, let's see what happens. Let's get started. And I will be back in a minute with a pour, okay? Oh yes, and I forgot one thing. I made this little, it's like, um, it is the, a bottle, um, a plastic bottle that I cut. And I'm going to be using that today. It's kind of like um, a tower pour slash open cup. Alright, so that's what I'm going to be using today. I never did that before as far as like a... I guess it's a tower pour. I don't know. It's open cup, tower pour. We'll see how it works. Okay, it may come out horrible. Uh, maybe, maybe too much paint coming in at once, but we'll see. So I always want to try that today as well. All right. So let's get started with the pour, and I will be back in a minute. All right, guys. Bye.
Hey guys, I am back. So, I hope you like that. So, let's look at these. This is the Artist Loft Premixed, okay? It always gives these beautiful, kind of wispy, I don't know, like feathery lines. I always really love that, and it's like super glossy. But I think I definitely put some, I did, um, pour off some more paint because it was a little too much and it's, see it's still dripping off which is fine I'll fix the edges in a minute but that is the artist loft and then we have the pouring masters okay so again it does give a little like wispy lines in here probably because the type of pour I did but it, it does have more defined lines in here, okay? And the colors look a little brighter, uh, probably because they did not mix as much. And this, um, in the artist love, it mixed um, a little uh, more, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. But um, the artist love had a little bit of bubbles, and like I said, this one, it had a lot of bubbles. Um, it had so many bubbles, I had to stop, like, torching off-screen, I mean, on, on camera, and I continued off-screen to the point where I lost, I didn't have any more gas in my torch. I had to refill <laughs> my torch with butane. Okay, so that is one downfall of the Pouring Master. There's so many freaking bubbles, um, but I still love it. So, we will see how these two dry. I'm going to give it, like, until tomorrow. We will check up on them tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, maybe because it's a type of pour I did. Like, the colors in this one got a little more muddied. Um, yeah, usually, like, this paint holds the line really, really well, but it mixed a lot in here. And also, it could be, like, the, um, the colors I used as well. Um, this right now looks much brighter, but as we know, you know, things could change, uh, when it dries. It could, you know, get a little darker, but the Pouring Masters did not, in, in the other paintings I did, did not dry much darker, if at all. So we will see how these two dry. So this is it for now. We'll pick the winner tomorrow. Let's wait till tomorrow. Um, I'm tending to going towards, and I can't believe I'm saying this, more towards the Pouring Masters right now. But you know what? When it dries tomorrow, it may dry with tons of bubbles. It could dry with cracks. Um, and by the way, there was no pouring medium in either because they have their own pouring medium um, inside of it. So I just wanted to um, not use any pouring medium. Uh, I didn't use any silicone. I didn't use any water or anything. Okay. Um, so just letting you know that. I forgot to say that earlier. So let's let these guys dry. And we'll see how we feel tomorrow. I mean, I like both of them. I always love the Artist Loft paint. I always love the way it dries so glossy. Um, and I love this one too. So let's see how it dries tomorrow. And I'm going to fix these edges now before it's too late. Okay. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.